well, it's probably the museum that is most inscribed in my soul because first of all, it was my very first building. I never built in a small building before. This was my very first building. And it was a very modest building. It was six million Deutschmarks. It was a very specific program. But I uh, loved working on it because I loved the work of Felix Nussbaum. It, it's really deeply inserted into my soul. I know almost every painting by heart. I can tell you what the colors are. And, and I share in many ways his history, although uh, you know I share a better history because he perished. Uh, but my parents were Holocaust survivors, and I grew up in a world which was uh, kind of a destroyed world. And I feel that Felix Nussbaum's message is a message into the future. It's, it's a message of something positive. It communicates a story that, that says something to us about the world we live in and the world we should care about. So to me, this is, even though it's a very modest, small project, by comparison of the large museums, the large projects, it's, it's very close to my heart, and, and I, I actually love being here. And I've been here many times, not just as an architect, but just visiting and coming to, to look at Osnabrück, look at the paintings of this mom, look at the old coins in the, in, in the museum. So uh, it's a very, very meaningful, maybe the most meaningful, uh, and maybe the smallest project. And repeating yourself? You know, nobody reproaches Mozart or Miss Van der or you like, like over say for doing buildings which have their soul in them. You know, I'm a believer that uh, architecture is not done by a committee. It's not an anonymous abstraction. It's individual, it's concrete, it's not abstract, it's not generalized. It answers a particular program. Now, you're right, the Jewish Museum is not a part. It's not something completely different from the Felix Nussbaum Museum. They both deal with destruction, with murder, with obliteration of Jewish culture. They both seek to bring hope. Uh, to society after these irretrievable and irreversible events. So there is absolutely a connection, but very different, because this is about a unique individual. Felix Nussbaum, we can get to know his paintings, we can come close to him. The Jewish Museum deals with 2,000 years of Jewish history in Germany, something very, very different scale. And of course, the museums that I built elsewhere that deal of, in Jewish topics have a very different character. You know, the museum, the, the Jewish Museum in Denmark deals with, uh, with a mitzvah, with something positive that the Danish citizens did to, to save their Jewish citizens. So I created kind of boat like, you know, they, 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 they ship them by, by, by rowboats to Sweden. And so I made a museum that has that aquatic and, and, and uh, sort of naval feeling about it. Uh, the museum in San Francisco's contemporary is totally different. It's about America, it's about light, it's about the positive, the industry, and the, and, and the successes uh, of, of Jewish communities in, in America. So each of these museums is different, but they are Jewish. And because they are Jewish, they do share something. Being Jewish is not uh, just an external label. You have to have a Jewish soul to create a Jewish building. And that means something. It's not just a label. It, it's, it's, a, it's a connection to history. It's a connection uh, to the text. It's a connection to the music. It's connection to the eternal as well. So there is a connection that connects all these things. You're right. That's good. But you don't really also...